perfect. <laughs> Just take the broken limbs down, Rarity. Don't y'all care about nothing other than pretty fine? Some pony has to. You are making an absolute mess of the town square, Applejack. Yeah, well, the storm's gonna make an even bigger mess if we don't prune all these loose branches so they don't tumble down on any pony. I simply cannot imagine why the Pegasus ponies would schedule a dreadful downpour this evening and ruin what could have been a glorious sunny day. Think more practical act, will you? They accidentally skipped a scheduled sprinkle last week, so we need a doozy of a downpour to make up for it is all. Oh, no! My wonderfully styled mane shall be ruined! You should have hurried up and finished the job already. Oh, hi! Oh, oh, it's coming down too fast! There. Hunker down to your heart's content whilst I finish things. Oh, no, no, no! What now? I'd prefer not to get my hooves muddy. Gah, there is just no pleasing you, is there? Everything's gotta be just so. <laughs> well, and how does mudding my hooves serve any useful purpose? Y'all wouldn't know useful if it came up and bit you. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Does so, does not. Does so, does not. Does so, does not. Does so infinity. Ha! Does not infinity plus one. <laughs> what say we go our separate ways before one of us says something she will regret? I reckon y'all are gonna say something you'll regret first. On the contrary, I believe it shall most certainly be you who says something you will regret first. I'm not saying anything. Nor am I. Y'all just be on your way then. After you! <laughs> perhaps we should stick together for now and find some shelter. Uh-huh. Perhaps we should. And fire. My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Sorta. Of. Oh, unacceptable. Applejack! Dirty! Applejack! Dirty! Twyla? Come inside, girls, quick! Whoa, Nelly. Is inside a tree really the best place to be in a lightning storm? It is if you have a magical lightning rod protecting your home like I do. Come on in! <sighs> We are most grateful for your invitation. Thank you kindly for your hospitality. Uh, do be a polite house guest and go wash up, please, won't you? Mm. If I gotta spend one more second with that fuss budget rarity today, I can't be held responsible for what I'm gonna do. Some storm, huh? The Pegasus ponies sure have outdone themselves this time. I hope you and Applejack don't have any trouble getting home. It may indeed be a problem. Well, you're welcome to stay if need be. Spike is away in Canterlot on royal business. I'm home all alone tonight. <gasps> you and Applejack should totally sleep over. We'll have a slumber party. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, goodness. Uh, I do believe I have another engagement scheduled for this evening that completely slipped my mind until just now. <laughs> oh, silly me. I can't possibly stay here all night with Applejack. <laughs> Slumber 101, all you've ever wanted to know about slumber parties but were afraid to ask. My own personal copy? It's a fantastic reference guide. You should see the table of contents. I've been waiting for a chance to use it, and today's the day. This is gonna be so great. Yes, uh, great. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, wait just a gall darn minute. You make me wash the mud off my hooves, but it's okay for y'all to have mud all over your faces? Silly. This is called a mud mask. It's to refresh and rejuvenate your complexion. We're giving each other makeovers! <laughs> we have to do it. It says so in the book. Slumber 101, everything you... Oh, hi. <laughs> What'd you look at the time? I gotta skedaddle on home quick. I'm powerful late for, uh, for something. Uh, good night. <laughs> or maybe I'll sit here for a spell. Hooray, slumber party! <laughs> what in the world is this for? Huh, to reduce the puffiness around one's eyes, of course. Puffiness, schmuffiness. That's good eating. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? We'll do everything by the book, and that will make my slumber party officially fun. Did you hear that, Applejack? You certainly would not want to do anything that would ruin Twilight's very first slumber party, would you? Of course not. You wouldn't either, I reckon. So do we have an agreement? You betcha. <laughs> oh, gross! You know, there's messy and there's just plain rude. You know, there's fussy and there's just plain getting on my nerves. Fortunately, I can get along with any pony, no matter how difficult she may be. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the get along in this pony you're ever gonna meet. That's not even a word. This is gonna be the bestest slumber party ever! Yay! Yay. Yay. So, how are you getting along over there, Applejack? Just fine, Rarity. This is so awesome! <laughs> Makeovers, check! Ooh, it says here we have to tell ghost stories. Who wants to go first? Me! I'd like to tell y'all the terrifying tale of the prissy ghost who drove every pony crazy with the unnecessary neatness. Ooh. I'm sure y'all are familiar with that one. Never heard of it, but I have a much better one. It's the horrifying story of the messy, inconsiderate ghost who irritated every pony within a hundred miles. Ooh! That's not a real story. You made it up. It is a ghost story. They're all made up. <gasps> I've got one. This story is called The Legend of the Headless Horse. It was a dark and stormy night, just like this one. And three ponies were having a slumber party, just like this one. And just when the last pony thought she was safe, there, standing right behind her, just inches away was... The Headless Horse! <laughs> Then you place one marshmallow on the top of the chocolate and be sure it's centered, that's critical, and then carefully put another perfectly square graham cracker on the top. And done! Ta-da! Ooh! Nah, you just ate them. <laughs> you could at least say excuse me. Oh, uh, well, I was just about to, but you interrupted me. Pardon. S'mores, check. Now the next item of fun we have to do is truth or dare. I dare Applejack to do something carefully and neatly for change. Oh, yeah? Well, I dare Rarity to lighten up and stop obsessing over every last little detail for a change. 
I think the truth of the matter is that some pony could stand to pay a little more attention to detail. And I think the truth is some pony ought to quit with her fussing so the rest of us can get things done. Um, I don't think this is how the game's supposed to work. You have to give an honest answer to any question or do whatever any pony dares you to do. I dares you to step outside and let your precious tight and mane get ruined again. Ooh. You have to. It's the rule. Ha! Fine! <laughs> okay, I dare Applejack to play dress up in a frou frou glittery lacy outfit. <gasps> Happy. Fairy. <laughs> um, do I ever get a turn? I dare you to enter the next rodeo when it comes to town. I dare you not to enter the next rodeo that comes to town. I dare you to not comb your mane a hundred times before bed. And I dare you to comb yours just once. I, uh, I think we should check off truth or dare and move on. Let's see what our next fun, fun, fun thing is, shall we? Hmm, what does this mean? Pillow fight? Oh, please. I am not at all interested in participating in something so crude. <laughs> oh! It is on. some sleep. Keep your muddy hoofs on your side of the bed. My hoofs ain't muddy. They were. There might still be a little on them. They're right. See? <laughs> now who's being inconsiderate? <laughs> I have to make the bed again so the blanket will be right. Get up! Do it like this. <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Geronimo! Hey! Ah, you did that on purpose. Um, yeah? Get up so I can fix it again. Can't hear you. Oh, I'm asleep. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> I ain't budging. You will if you want any blanket. Give it back. I will not. Yes, you will. Look. Will. Look. Will. Look. Will. Enough. It says right here that the number one thing you're supposed to do at a slumber party is have fun. And thanks to you two, I can not check that off. I've been trying my darndest to get along. No, it is I who have been trying my best. No, it was me. No, it was I. Me, I. I hope you're happy, both of you. You've ruined my very first slumber party. The makeover, the s'mores, truth or dare, the pillow fight. I mean, is there anything else that could possibly go wrong? Sorry, I asked. in town, not spiffy him up. But I... Out of my way, Missy. Time's a waste. Wait, stop, stop! No waiting! No stopping! Go on! And that, my friends, is what we call getting her done. I 
I'm mighty sorry, Twilight. It's... Well, it's not okay. There's a giant tree branch in the middle of my bedroom. And the book doesn't say anything about having a giant tree branch at your slumber party. Or at least I haven't found that entry yet. <sighs> what in tarnation are y'all doing over there? Cleaning up this mess some pony made. Who was that again? Oh, right, that's you. We gotta do something. Faking BFFs, brothers? There's nothing in here about branches. Rarity for pony's sake! Stop quitting the small stuff and help me get rid of this thing! I said hustle over here and help me! Look! I'm sorry, alright? What was that? I said I'm sorry! I should have listened to you when you noticed where this here branch would end up. Your annoying attention to detail would have saved us from this whole mess. But right now, you need to stop being so dang pussy, picking up all those little things, and help me move the one big thing in here that actually matters. Please. Uh, uh, but I'll get all icky. Come, Sarni. What the? You? I mean, yes. Ickiness is often a side effect of hard work. But y'all need to get over it, on account of I just can't fix this mess I made myself. I need your help. Let's do this. Well, they do have a section about backyard slumber parties. Is that what we're doing right now? Does this count as camping? Better? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, pretty. Where did these come from? They're not in the book either. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bigger than a barn? <laughs> nope. Is it smaller than a saddle? <laughs> no, only three of your 20 questions left. Oh, we're never gonna guess what you're thinking of. It could be anything. Are we getting warmer? Why, is it too cold in here for you? I can turn up the heat. She means, are we getting any closer with our guesses? Oh, no. And that technically counted as a question, so only two more left. Is it a six-legged pony with a purple polka-dotted mane and shooting stars coming out of his eyes? Who flies through the air all over the world to hide magic sparkly eggs? That's it! It, it is? is? No. <laughs> it's that. But it was just so nice to see you two finally getting along. I wanted you to be able to win together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> See, we could have been having fun like this all along. If only some pony hadn't been so persnickety. Well, maybe she wouldn't have been if some pony else hadn't been so sloppy. Sorry for being such a pain in the patootie. Oh, no, I'm sure I was much worse. That's kind of you to say, but I'm the one who's sorry. Oh, I'm much more sorry than you are. <laughs> are not. Are too. Are not. Are too. Are not. <laughs> I declare my first slumber party a success. Yeah! <laughs> Have fun? Check. <laughs> now take two steps to your left. Uh, no, my left. W which is it? Whoa! That mess is your fault, not mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. Dear Princess Celestia, it's hard to believe that two ponies who seem to have so little in common could ever get along. But I found out that if you embrace each other's differences, you just might be surprised to discover a way to be friends after all. So, who's up for another slumber party tomorrow night? <laughs> How about a week from Thursday? Oh, how about two weeks from Saturday? <laughs> a month from now? <laughs> 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 <laughs>